Are there spirits today who are actually affecting some of the leaders within the church? Because I know, yes. yeah, because I, I, I know there are some teachers and they've been in trouble for some, well, they're always in trouble, but they're in trouble. But they have said, look, is Jesus really God? And they're bringing that into discussion. Yes. They're bringing in, um, um, is it your death that actually, you know, saves? saves or yeah. is it was it your life and us copying what copying you did your life. And, 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 and having the same and trying to do live our lives the same way that you're living your life. Exactly. And I mean they're the they're the questions that they're that they're bringing in now. Yes. And these are motivated by celestial spirits mm. who know the truth, yeah. who are constantly trying to connect to Christians because they can feel in Christians there many Christians have a sincere desire mm. Uh, for like, to experience the love of God. And they want to know the truth. And they want to know the truth. Yes. So, 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 you know, these celestial spirits have been for centuries mm. trying to influence ones. And just now, you know, in mm. the modern time, they're starting to have a bit more mm. of an influence on these people yes. to help them get away from actually treating this as God's word mm. and starting to see that God's word no, needs to be re- written onto the heart because yep. this can't contain God's word. God's word is far greater of and bigger and, and more yeah. incredibly beautiful yeah. than any words yeah. in the English language can describe, or in any language for yeah. that matter. And, and it has to be an experience that a person has written on their heart. Mm. And, and many Christians are now starting to understand this because they have spirits with them who are attempting to help them understand mm. this. Conversely, mm. there are also another group of spirits who want everyone to keep the orthodoxy. Mm, You can see that happening too. And so now you see a polarisation of the Christian faith Mm. occurring where there are Christians who are are developing in love and developing in their understanding towards divine truth, Mm. towards the real truth, God's Mm. truth. And then there are Christians who are very firm and set in their ways who are almost militantly violent towards the other group of Christians. And, and what I yep. suggest to those people yep. is that violence is never going to help you ever become more loving. Mm. And, and yelling and screaming and condemning people and judging people is directly against your own Bible mm. and directly against my teachings if you are ever going to have a relationship with God. And my suggestion is to give that up as quickly as possible. Mm. But there are groups of spirits helping in both camps. Yes. And, uh, and so there is a bit of a battle, a spiritual battle, if you like, going on at the moment for, for what is right to eventually become a part of what is believed on the mm. planet and in the spirit world, in the mm. lower spheres of the spirit world. Yes. So I feel that's really good. Yeah. Uh, it's a necessary yeah. part of the modification of the Christian faith. If the Christian faith teaches what I actually taught in the first century, it would be a growing, expansive mm. faith. Mm. It, would, uh, it would accomplish huge things on this planet. Mm. Unfortunately, it's accomplished a lot of destruction on the planet because it's that restrictive, violent, mm. un- misunderstanding of God as a God of wrath, violence. Mm. And, and, and as I keep saying to people, the God you believe in is the person you also become. Ah. So if you believe in a wrathful, punishing, angry God, you are going to become a wrathful, punishing, angry person. Mm. If you believe in a loving, compassionate, kind God, you will eventually become a loving, compassionate, kind person. Mm. The God you believe in Mm. is the God you'll become. Mm. Uh, The person you'll become, I should say. And and my feelings are uh, that uh, if for, for the majority of religions on the planet, we need to get away from this dogmatic adherence to words when there is no love. Mm. Now, I understand Mm. adhering to words that are all based around love. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. And in fact, I'm very firm about that. Mm. You know, I'll die for that. I won't kill for that, but I'll die for that. Mm. But I certainly would not kill for any reason, Mm. let alone a dogmatic, unloving set of teachings. Mm. 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 So that would be my suggestion to Christians who are listening to these FAQs. Yeah. But we've got, uh, we've got a number of other questions to answer, haven't we, for the future? We so we've we probably got another, another 10 or 12 yes. to answer, at least with uh, yourself. So maybe we can give that, leave that for another week Very and good. answer those sets of questions. Look then. forward to it. Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> thanks, AJ. Yeah, thanks for your time, Claire. Yeah. <laughs>